All right, so now we got some fun happening here because we're actually going to shoot your uh, PowerPoint presentation with a screen capture program like Camtasia, ScreenFlow, or a free piece of uh, screen capture software called Cam Studio. So Cam Studio is actually made by Camtasia, I believe, and I'm using it right now actually because I need to show you some configuration settings in Camtasia, and to do that, I'm using Cam Studio to shoot the screen. Um, you can get good results with it. It's it's great. It just doesn't have all the bells and whistles that you get on Camtasia. So um, go ahead and try it. There's a download link, I believe, on this page where you can try it out. So the first thing is that we want to configure the settings here in Camtasia and we start by clicking on record the screen and that will bring up this guy and uh, you want to click on tools and then click on options and so We want to decide whether or not we save this as a CAMRAC file or as a AVI. If you are using Camtasia to output your uh, video so that it can play on the internet, then choose CAMRAC, that's a Camtasia recording. If you're using a different piece of software like Adobe Premiere, uh, or any other editing software, then choose AVI so that you can bring that AVI into that video editing software and <clears throat> uh, possibly add other material to it or just output it from there in order to play on the internet. So if you're using Camtasia, save it as a CAMREC. If you're using a different editing software, choose save as AVI. You can choose, um, make your choices here about what you want to see or what you want to know. It doesn't really make much difference, but I would actually check off report dropped frames. Um, this is when, uh, if, it, if you have a dropped frame, the, um, the, the screen will go black for a second uh, in your video um, or less than a second. If it, if it drops only one frame, then it's only going to be one thirtieth of a second that gets dropped. And you may say, eh, whatever, can't even notice it or, you know, who cares, just move on. Um, if it's a lot of drop frames, then uh, you may want to shoot that uh, screen recording again. Um, but basically this will give you a report saying, okay, you dropped a bunch of frames and there you go. One of the things that will help that prevent that from happening is if you check this box, uh, disable display acceleration during capture, and uh, by doing that, you'll it'll bring up a box. It'll tell you uh, what this is all about. It'll just make for a smoother recording. So I do recommend it. The next thing we want to configure is video. So click on the video tab here, and you want to decide. Uh, well, you want to actually choose uh, manual. So click the manual radio button, and then you'll be able to configure these things down here. Choose 30 frames. Default, I believe, is 15, but you want 30, get better quality. And then you want to choose the codec, and so you click on video compression, and this will come up. Now, um, what we're choosing here is the codec, and I'll give you a quick little explanation of codecs, which are basically um, all video needs to be compressed in order to play online. Uh, a 15 minute video, just a raw video, uh, might be might take up as much as like eight gigabytes of memory and there's no way that's going to play on the internet and it will barely even play on your computer. Uh, with something like that you've you're going to be transferring it to a DVD or something like that and even then you're going to be compressing it. So that's what codecs do. Codec, the word, is coding, coding the video, and deck is decoding the video. You need a codec to code things and another one to decode things so that it will play. Um, as you'll see here, if you drop this down, there's lots of different codecs and there's more being invented every day. 
Uh, they all compress video in different ways. Some are better for color, some are better for motion, some are better for uh, this, that, and the other thing. So somebody is always trying to improve on the model to get great quality video, video in small file sizes so that we can play you know, videos online. And the latest and greatest of these right now is the FFD Show. Where did it go? Video Kodak. And uh, so that's what I have chosen here. You probably or you may not have that Kodak on your computer. It is free and you can just download it online right now. And there is a link underneath this video that will take you to this page. I'll just get out of this so you can see it. And here we are at codex.com. And uh, what you want to get is you want to download the K Lite Kodak Pack 6.6.6 .6 full. And uh, when you do that, you may be redirected to another page after you've downloaded it or during that process or something that tells you that there's been an update of this. Also, install that. Yes, you should do that. And so that you have the uh, all the, the fullest pack of codecs available um, with this Kodak pack. All right, um, so now that you have that, Camtasia will automatically recognize that that codec is there and it will show up here just like it is FFD show video codec. Uh, you may actually have to choose it from this list, but you'll see it on this list. Once you've done that, you hit configure and um, there's a couple of options here, um, but I use the XVID. Uh, it's given me good results. Sometimes uh, you may um, see something that doesn't look right in your video. Some area of the screen might be grayed out uh, or some other things. Once you've done your capture, you'll say, well, that doesn't look like my, my uh, <laughs> my PowerPoint presentation. Uh, maybe the, the actual picture may be jumping all over the place or something like that. Um, and that means that the codec, the coding process, is not working for you. Um, I have found the best results with this choosing XVID. And so I choose it from this list, XVID. I choose one pass quality from this drop down and I uh, slide this uh, quality setting to all the way to 100. Okay, to the highest quality. And then I click on OK. And I click on OK here. And the next thing I want to configure is audio. And now, right now, as you see, we've got speaker audio um, uh, chosen. And that is what I want chosen. What you'll probably see is microphone is chosen in the first gesture because this is a normal setting that you would use to record screen captures where you are talking during that capture. You're showing something on the screen and then you're talking just like I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. But in the case of this, we are actually going to want to record the voiceover recording that we already did. And to do that, to have that recorded while our PowerPoint presentation is playing, we want to choose 